fantastic 100. Coming of just 85 deliveries, the quickest 100 by an Indian against Sri Lanka. And coming at a very important time, chasing a big target, this young man is stood up. Well, that's done a little bit of damage to Dhoni. Premeditated, he was charging him. How he managed to keep that away from his stumps, God alone knows, because he could have been stumped as well. He's hurt himself some. He goes for the big one. He's a powerful striker of the ball. That's six for Dhoni. Got the opportunity to free his arms. And boy, have a look at this. That white ball is flying. Down the track. I think that's the reason why it's not easy to get a leg before checking on the track. Really. It'll be interesting to see where the ball pitches. Going down the leg side. He goes for it again. The result the same, second six for Dodi. He was waiting for that. That's where he likes it. Didn't really get all of it as much as the earlier one, tremendous. but still hit with tremendous power. He struck it cleanly again. He's just an amazing striker of the cricket ball. Didn't bother running and Billy's having fun. Absolutely so sensational. What a shot. Just look at this shot. Right in the center of the bat. There was no doubt as to where that would end up. Went up like a scud. With only three sixes in the process. Giving the charge. This is the fast outfield. Dhoni taking the Sri Lankans on. Boundary then the over. Seven overs gone. It's 49 for one. Oh, Even the man outside the fence would have been in danger. Dhoni would love to spend another 45 minutes to an hour there. I think the whole of India would expect or hope that he would be out there. You can't keep him quiet for just more than a few balls. That's hammered down the ground. Very much a Caribbean style shot. Oh, the Sri Lankan Bain starts Yes, I think they'll together. have to look they at some way of picking up a wicket, maybe a spin against Dhoni. Slow delivery doesn't make a difference to Dhoni. He's having a ball, he's farting out in the middle. Nino is gone, it's 67 for one. Still looking very good, the target quite possible. And definitely possible if he can do this. There was a man at long off, but he had no chance whatsoever. And Mahendra Singh Dhoni brings up his 50. And the Kishan Singh was just thrown at that what delivery. Innings this has been. He's just short, hitting it on the up. Bludgeoned it down the ground. Awesome power. Full toss and he has hit it over the fence, up, up and away. Six more to end the over. 16 gone, 109. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, that's done a little bit of damage to Dhoni, but he's gotten away with it. Premeditated, he was charging him. How he managed to keep that away from his stumps? God alone knows because he could have been stumped as well. Well, he's hurt himself somewhere. He just uh, wonder if he's pulled aside uh, the lower back because the field restrictions are on. Just wait. Take it. That's in the air and in the gap as well. Mister, really, this was against the break. Now, let's take a look at this one against the break. Over mid on, um, over mid wicket, I beg your pardon. And then once you get it over the infield, it's for Murli Tharan into his fifth over, bowling to Dhoni. 
That's four. He waited for it, let it do its thing, let it turn, took it on the top of the bounce and just smashed it past extra cover for four. An amazing shot because he was looking to hit it square. The ball just didn't come on. In the end, he's just bludgeoned it between mid-off and cover. And see the power behind that shot. From round the wicket. We'll take a look at it again. He's gone and he's well landed in the crowd and the crowd is about 25 yards away from the boundary line. There's no messing around. Good position with the front foot. And bang. Ah, he would have enjoyed it. Moment he hit it, he knew it was six for the taking. Oops! That must have hurt Murli. In fact, gets to the boundary. 21 overs gone, 155 for two. It's a good example of how hard he hits the cricket ball. On 99. And that will be his 100. Fantastic 100. Coming of just 85 deliveries, the quickest 100 by an Indian against Sri Lanka. And coming at a very important time, chasing a big target, this young man is stood up. A hug and a word of advice uh, from the captain. He obviously wants him to go on. Hasn't worked up much of a sweat a getting this long off because he's hit uh, so many. Free. It's a free hit there for Dhoni, that's where he likes it. But he's gone the long on and there's a fielder getting under it. The ball has sailed right over him into the crowd. Take that for confidence. There is a long no on. No half measures for this man. But look at man this. Plays this is a down six. long on deep at that. And he just took the challenge. He was quite prepared to take that field on. And the ball sailed over him. That's a big hit. Enormous amount of confidence there in that shot. He took on the fielder and the bowler. Four more, down the leg side, trying to York Dhoni, but that's the problem. There is no margin of error. Down the leg side, got a little bat onto it. There's no fine leg of third man. That was four the moment it touched the bat. No margin whatsoever, as you would see. Striving for that Yorker, but um, ball straying down leg side, going full. Dhoni getting some bat. And as soon as you get bat on that, you're in business. Four more runs. He's found the gap, slightly short, rocked onto his back foot. He's got four more, Dhoni. But oh, this he pitch certainly is unforgiving. But Dhoni, he was up. so quick onto hey. the back foot. And hammered it away through the offside. Just take it off, outside off stump. By Billy Bowden, wanting to have a word with Dhoni. I wonder what that is all about. Running on the field? Quite a while, once he... <laughs> Running on the wicket, sort of overextended himself. He's gone the straight field. There was no need to have fielders there either. He's hit the screen. That is the seventh six by Dhoni. So he equals the record of the highest number of sixes by an Indian. And Dhoni, he certainly is continuing in this way. And despite that uh, hampered leg, there's no need to have runners, Ranjit. When you can hit like that, this is an absolutely amazing inning. This is awesome hitting. What power. Beautiful follow through the bat. Yes, he's, he's struggling. It's been like a 5x display. Rockets all around. Sehwag has come in to run for Dhoni. The problems for himself. He goes for the big one. He's best time this. But it's his day. Two runs taken. Say, and Fortune and favors the brave. He certainly has been a brave man today from India's point of view. What an effort. He hit it in the air. And if you want to guess where it lands, outside the boundary ropes. 
save. He can't put save that time. He just can't do his feet. That is no problem whatsoever. Stays at one place and slams it over the long off. He says you can't hit a six if you're not balanced. <laughs> Tony on 169 has a great opportunity. It's just three shot to become the highest. Man getting underneath it. But the ball clears the fence and he achieves a fantastic record. My interesting Dhoni. Becomes the highest run getter in a one day international for a wicket keeper. And that takes him to 175. What sensational batting this is. Even the most ardent Sri Lankan supporter would acknowledge that uh, there's nothing very much you could do under these circumstances. Clean hitting. And that's once again six maximum for Dhoni. How do you reckon Dhoni will finish this off? Do you think he's got a six in his mind? Yes, he has a six on his mind. And that is exactly what he gets. His tenth sixer. What an innings. Magnificent innings by Mahendra Singh Dhoni. 183 not out of 145 balls. 15 fours and 10 sixers with a strike rate of 126.2. This is a magical effort. Awesome batting. Oh, what an innings this has been. Oh, absolutely awesome. I really I find, would find it difficult to find words to describe this innings. But the star today, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, 183 not out, a match winning innings coming in just 145 balls. Rahul Dravid chipping in with 28. Then Yuvraj Singh and Venu Gopal Rao just keeping Dhoni company to see the end.